chow chow chow, Santa Joe here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Jade Trial Run. In the last episode, we made it right here to the Lost Pyramid. We met up with Kaplan and the rest of Team Wild, and we are about to face T uh, Kaplan and see how powerful he is. We've been a thorn in his side for very long now, and it is time to see what we can do against him. So he's got three Pokemon for us. I mean, I could just start with... I think my play is to go into Donald and get to Sturwack here. Do you like the music? I'm going to scold him. Nice. We take down the Sturwag very nicely. He's got a Shadiest. Okay, so Shadiest is... It is dark type. We don't want to give him... It's dark and fighting. So I'm going to go into Maple. That is my play. I'm going to go into Maple and go Seed Bomb it. Don't like the Drain Punch, but it is what it is. You're not going to get... It's not very effective on me, so that's perfectly fine. He has a Citrus Berry, because why not? That does really nice damage, but he's going to kill me before he gets... No, he's not. He didn't get... He didn't take me down. So I can get off into a sea bomb. Nice. He's going to take me down now. No. He's still healing this thing. He's going to take... Dude. See, now he takes me down. But that's fine. I do have Pokemon that should be faster than him. Right? Who's my fastest Pokemon? 52, 71, 58, 94. But you have no moves. 79, I guess I'll go to Wise. And I will Aerial Ace. Yep, yeah, faster. Beautiful. Nice work, guys. And an Orph. Oh, a dial. Uh, let's go to Donald. Whips up the sandstorm. That's perfectly fine. That's surf. You can take a skull, Donald. You can take a crunch, Donald. Surf is going to come through. Or a dial down. Easy. In a way, I'm not surprised. You've been Team Wild's strongest leaders. Now you've defeated me as well. Like I said, a deal is a deal. We obtained the third key riddle. Unfortunately for you, Team Wild has no need for this riddle as well. Our Shadiests have uh, a special ability to steal the contents of each. Riddle, uh, permanently, with no need uh, to keep psychic doc uh, to keep physical documents. Thanks to them, my plan is almost complete. Goodbye, Joe. Where will you be when the world changes forever? Seems to be an ancient altar that. Uh, used to contain the third ancient key riddle. It is now empty because we have the third key riddle. Hey, an energy route's back here. Nice, I will take. And what? No, we know that. Nope. I'm going to figure out how to go left eventually. I 
we been up here yet? Have we been up the ladder? That's to the strength room. Okay, have we been? No. It's the positioning that gets me because I'm always ending up behind the ladder. So I always accidentally run into the ladder. We've we been here yet? Ooh, there's a strength puzzle here. Okay, I can do this. Push this aside. Do I want... Hmm. Well, i got to push this up. And then I guess I want to push this one up here. And then to the side... And that one to the side there. There you go. And there's a rare candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Okay, cool. Seems a bit, uh, you know, weird for all that to be a piece of candy, though. But at least we discovered everything in this dungeon now. Guess we gotta find a way out of here. Why does the strength puzzle not stay active? I mean, I think it's probably easier to get out of here than it was to get in here. Because I just need to do that, and... There we go. I'm out. But the strength puzzle should stay active. Now I have to find my way out of here, and I'm not sure I can do it. Wait, I have an escape room, right? And, uh, Billy, you know Dig. Can't use that here. Can I use an escape rope? Can I use an escape rope? Use. Can't use that here. Oh! Game full of that. Game is smart. Game is smart. I am not. I'm also running out of repels. Am I out of here yet? There we go. Okay, I found my way out. Cool. Joe, over here! Did you beat Kaplan? What happened? Mazala uh, just left uh, me here a little while ago, but uh, after you started battling Kaplan. I asked Spruce to come, uh, just in case we needed his help. Joe! I'm glad you... Uh, you're here. Tell me what happened. Yeah, um, there was a ton of shaking and a load of loud noises like an earthquake. Split. Spill, Joe. Oh dear. Well, Richie and the Riddler warned us this would happen. Uh, just in case. We uh, can uh, still stop them. Okay, you two, S listen up. The two of you started this journey to catch Pokemon and take them on uh, to take on the gym challenge. Due to Team Wild, 
That journey has been derailed. I know things are dire. And your friend is in danger. But there isn't much we can do for now. We have no idea when Team Wild will make their next move. But we have to stop them, Professor. I have no doubt both of you will, and uh, uh, both of you will, and you'll be able to get Axel, uh, get Axel back safely. Until more information is known about when Team Wild will surface from the shadows, continue your journeys. Lead, uh, v, leave the digging to us older folk. I'll get in touch with Richie and the Riddler. Maybe Flo will have some information too. I know Rashkul Bay is just south of the desert, home to the Sith Gym of Afro. I suggest you head there. Be safe. I guess she's right. We don't know where uh, th they took Axel. Hopefully, we'll find something out soon, Joe. Alright. I guess it is what it is, and we'll go down here. We found a heat rock! Yo, Bowie! Ratcha Bartley! Nice. Rock Smash does nice damage. I wish Rock Smash would do a bit more damage, to tell you the truth. Especially since you just crit me with uh, Payback. And crit me again with Crunch. But nice damage, Billy. Delphorn coming in. I'm going to go and switch to Wise. To do a wing attack on the Delphorn. And there we go. Nice work. Uh, let's heal. It would have been nice of them to actually heal me. I guess I have to do that. There we go. I'm all nicely healed now. Guess, Billy, you can go to the back of the party and we'll let Maple, Taz, Mission, and Krusty take on the, the work at this moment in time. Donald can also do some work too, but you and, of course, Wise can, like, stop doing work now. You have an item for me. Take. Hey, it's a sunstone. Thank you, Billy. I mean, I don't have anything that evolves for a sunstone just yet, but that might be cool. Hey, shall we wait for rock climb? I don't have the ability. Do I have? I don't, probably don't have the ability to use it yet. Okay, what is down here? It's a shiny stone. Okay, cool. Repel. And we've got six of these left, so hopefully the next town is not that far away. You, battle me. What you got for me? Scientist Tio has a Lusher fly. And I can take that down with an aerial ace, but of course it's not going to kill. And, of course, that sludge does a lot of damage and it poisons, but why wouldn't it? Another lush, another aerial ace will kill that. Level 35. Use. 
antidote. Use. There we go. Back at, back at partial health. We don't need to be full health yet. Oh, it's a dire hit. Okay, I'll take that. Item. Full heal. Nice. And a mental herb. I could have gone either way. Now you're telling me. Okay, that's fine. Could have gone either way. I'm gonna have to face all the. Uh, should probably face all these trainers either way. I probably should face all these trainers anyway. Especially since I'm trying to evolve Maple, because Maple is the only Pokemon in my team that's, I think, capable of evolving further. I think Donald and. I know that. I know that uh, Krusty is fully evolved. I don't know. I. I think. Taz mission is fully evolved. I don't know if Donald could evolve further. And Wise is fully evolved, too. You have a bond of Rue and I can't really deal. I guess I'm going to go Krusty. Um, Maple's asleep, you see. Oh, fake out. That's annoying. Great. Now I flinch. Come on. Let me do my side beam. Let me do my side beam. There we go. Now I've got to wake up. Uh, do I have awakenings? Yes, I do. Not that many of them. Only six, but it'll do. It'll do. Wake up. There we go. What's this item you're protecting? It's a Max Revive. I'll take that. Yo, bow me. There are some micro particles uh, that attach to the grass as part of this desert. I don't know what that is. Oh, you're not a battle. Okay, fine. You're almost at the end. Good. I kind of want to be at the end now. Nice. I guess we'll battle you. No, no, no. No, I want to battle you. I don't care if you're trying to concentrate. I want to battle you. Okay. It's a woman. Uh, woman. And I'm going to... Go see bomb it. Oh, you disabled my seed bomb. I guess that's fine. I guess I can aerial ace. That's always fine, too. Nice, level 36. We're going to evolve. I think we're going to evolve. Unless it's going to be. I don't think I've se I haven't seen a Pokemon that evolves, you know. Uh, I haven't seen a grass starter that evolves further on than level 36, you know. So, maybe I... Maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one Pokemon that evolves further on than level 3. Than level 36. Maybe. No, it isn't. Maple evolving. Yay! Oh, that thing looks amazing. It's a Gargust. Let's have a look at Gargust. I love it. Look at this Pokemon. It is really, really cool. That is a really cool design. There's its stats for you guys. Love the design. 
Oh, I can't get to, I can't get to that item. This way, I gotta go the I gotta go the other way around to get to that item. But I'm glad I followed that trainer because I was able to evolve. So I'm glad about that. I think I had to fall into the quicksand there to get uh, to get around. Ooh, item. It's a repel. Nice. The sand in my throat. You. I can only spend like 20 minutes inside the gold of my desert. It's too sandy otherwise. We made it to Route 14. You can't take me down. Yeah, I can. Just watch me. No, wait, no. The line is, don't believe me, just watch. There we go. <laughs> Stockpile. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Seat bomb. Wow. This thing is beefy. It's fine. It's fine. And you have a full restore. I guess I can't take you down. There we go. See, I can take you down. Well, you took me down. Yes, I did. I'll be damned. I'm trying to take a break from the desert. Uh, the climate uh, in this route is a lot different. Before you go down the stairs, battle me. Alright. I will battle you. Electrit. I've never seen this Pokemon before. Kind of like its design. It is now dead. Uh, let's go to Krusty. And Psybeam. Nice. Oh, I'm so close to taking it down, but sadly he didn't and he didn't hit himself in confusion, that's fine. I guess I can put Donald up front now. No, no ta let's put Tasmation up front, actually. Alright, you're pretty strong. You can proceed. Alright, I'm going to proceed. Yeehaw! Let's battle. Cowgirl Jesse, what do you got for me? No, you had to have the one thing that Tasmation cannot deal with. That is, very much, that is very much a thing that Taz Mission could not deal with. Taz Mission could not deal with Donald. Sea bomb. Nice. Doing nice damage. I really like that. Sadly, I'm going to go down to the yawn here. That's fine. I can always switch out. Dangle. Yes, I'm going to switch out. Let's go to Billy. Go to Billy and use Rock Smash. Maybe Billy is capable of evolving one last time. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I mean, maybe. Kind of looks uh, small enough where it could be capable of one last evolution. I don't know. I do like my team, though. I really do like my team. It took a while for it to do. It, it took a while for it to gain its full form, but I like. I like the team, and I'm not sure if I'd actually end up, get, you know, switching anyone out at this point. Let's let Donald fight because Donald is the only Pokemon that I have that's like full of energy right now. 
Hopefully this route is not as long as I'm thinking it is and we'll be able to get to the... Oh, you have five Pokemon. Why do you have five Pokemon? Please be all little baby first evolution mons that Donald can deal with really, really easily. So I don't have to worry about getting my team in. Uh, so I don't have to worry about getting my team or hurt. More hurt than it already is. Because my team is hurt right now. And Donald doesn't... No. You can let Donald deal with everyone else. I mean, Donald has rest, so he should be fine. Taz Torch. That's fine. Level 36 for Donald, not bad. Netball, okay, cool. And Hyper Potion, I'll take that too. Uh, do I need another repel? No, I'm gonna say no, I don't need another repel. Hey, I made it to the, I made it here, cool. Let's have a little adventure round. We're, uh, we're not going to go into the gym today. No gym today because we've gone 26 minutes. We need to stop this episode eventually. We'll need to stop this episode eventually. I healed up my Pokemon after a long trek in the gold white desert. Do you like the town, youngster? Well, I haven't adventured round the town yet, sir, so, but I think I like the town. It's such a beautiful contrast of vegetation here. The reds, the yellows, the greens. I always wanted to end my days sailing the seas. Do you think I'll get uh, there one day? Be honest. Yes. You, hmm. You may very well be right. What if I said no? Wow. Honest without holding back. You have a lot of grit. That's admirable. Here. I want to reward your honesty. Your heart scale. Oh. I kind of, uh, I kind of like, I want it to be nice. Though your honesty is painful, it motivates me to keep, uh, uh, to make sure my dream does indeed come true. That's nice. That's a nice way to be. Aren't flowers so pretty? The fossil recovery lab is, uh, and research lab is highly respectable in the archaeology union. The gym is intense challenge of true strength. Not many are passed. The leader, Fletcher, is relentless. I chose to move here because of its prime fighting spot, like most bay towns. HP up. Nice, I will take. Trying to figure out if I could go up the stairs. I can. Red kick. Ooh, a piece of candy. Sometimes we party. Uh, we have parties upstairs and forget about it when we come down to sleep. So sometimes food and drinks will stay up there for weeks. It's gross. We use the lower floor to sleep and the upper floor for meals and games. Ah, the sand in my hair. It's just started raining too. A lot of people in Afro come to this bay for vacation. I'm one of them. All right. Even just sip. Ever just sit back and relax and feel the sea breeze? It is nice to feel the sea breeze sometimes. I look after my grandpa, uh, my grandparents while I'm on vacation. Just to make sure they don't hurt themselves or anything. Hello there, Sonny. My wife is out at the Pokemon Center. Okay. 
Now I sort of had the, the old man voice nailed down now, I'll be fine for when I'm older. And now it's not raining again. One day I'll beat Fletcher. Maybe the f uh, maybe first I should get the other gym badges before the other five gym badges before his. Yes, probably should do that since this is the sixth gym. What can I find out here? I can find waybills. I already have one. I have Donald here. There's a forest store out back behind uh, Fletcher's gym. Is there anything else? Can I can't surf in that water, but can surf in this water? I think that's everything. Yep, I think that is everything. All right, that's fine. Let's go and figure out what Fletcher's gym is and what we have to deal with here before we end off today's episode. Hey, mate. We meet again. This is Rascule Bay's gym, the Sith gym of the Astro region. Beach, the, this beachside gym is housed inside an ancient Colosseum tower. Legend says dragons came to battle on this tower during storms. Fittingly, this gym is all about dragon types, one of the most powerful types of all, with only three weaknesses, ice, fairy, and dragon itself. Now, I don't know about you, but the last I checked, we aren't anywhere near uh, First Snow Forest. So ice types are far, uh, are few and far between. <laughs> Fletcher is about combat. Nothing special, just straight up s bouts of strength and determination. Which is why you can choose to go through uh, his maze of gym trainers or you can go straight up the tower and face him immediately. Here's something for you. Good luck, my friend. So I have a choice here. I can go straight up the tower and face Fletcher, or I could go and face his trainers. I think I'm going to face his trainers. That is always what I do when I go into a gym. I always try and make sure I face all the trainers. That way we have all the grind, all the experience, ready to get, uh, ready to take on a gym train, uh, ready to take on the gym leader when we are ready. So this should be a rather fun adventure. I'm going to be excited to see what we can do uh, with this gym. I might. Is Finjoy a, a water fairy type? It is. Okay. That might be my way to beat this gym. I might honestly, honestly might bring Finjoy onto the team uh, to help me deal with this gym and evolve him into its final evolution and of course, uh, you know, take down the gym that way. So that might be uh, an idea. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, I'm going to end off this episode here. I'll let the end card uh, let you know how to, uh, you know, enjoy the video. But I will say this. This is the last week you can buy the Lantern Joe shirts. The link is down in the description below. All profits go to Red Nose Day. This is the last week they're available. So get on whilst you can. I'm ending the campaign next Sunday at midnight. That is the 4th of April. So I'll be ending the campaign there, taking all the monies that we have made, and then donating all of that to Red Nose Day on that uh, on the 5th, okay? So on Monday the 5th, Easter Monday, I will be doing the, I will be donating all that money that we have made to uh, 
to uh, Red Nose Day. On top of the money that I really am probably going to donate to Red Nose Day anyway, so I probably I usually donate like twenty pounds. So I'll be donating twenty pounds plus all the profit that we've made from the shirts and the face masks and everything, and that'll be the end of the campaign of of the uh, Lantern Joe eighth anniversary shirts. There will be another campaign in November, just in case you want to, uh, you know. Get more shirt, uh, get another shirt, or you didn't get a shirt this time. So there'll be another campaign when it's our actual channel birthday in, you know, November. This is just a campaign to celebrate the fact that we have merch. And again, that will go to, uh, like, all the profits from that run will also go to a charity because it's only fair. Might do that, might just give all the money to the National Autistic Society for that one because, you know. Us autistic people gotta help each other out. Anyway, until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon gets to us, uh, everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider donating some money to Red Nose Day. In this global pandemic, Red Nose Day is helping support people in the UK and across the world as well. You can find out more information about what they're doing down in the description below, as well as links to donate. And you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out these videos in the top right and top left-hand corner. Follow me on Twitter, at Lantern Joe. And of course, check out Power Zone Metal as well. It's a weekly metal radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am your Red Nose Lantern, aka Lantern Joe. And I will see you next time.